What's up, Billy? We're back. And it's time for SpongeBob. And it's Women's Month. It's Women's Month. Happy it's Women's, women's month. month. But but not when this goes out on YouTube. No. So now you get double Women's Month. Yeah, it's it's Celebrate always. it twice. I'm rough, by the way. How you doing? I'm boom. I'm Eric. I'm Bree. We haven't done that in like a whole season. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen one a, before. A, a what? A speckled huh? squirter. A speckled squirter. Um, we got, <laughs> a yo, we got, we got a fister, we got a squirter, and we a got a blaster. <laughs> I've ordered all three of these things from websites. <laughs> what? There's so many of them. Damn. Back in. Oh. Yo. Old Reliable? Yeah, but I don't see no new ones. Is 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 his oh. Old Reliable gonna break this episode? Cause like, oh, it totally I, is. I dude. feel like I feel like that's what's gonna happen, right? That's like, that's, that's some. He just yo. What? Oh, that was the most beautiful day okay. Patrick. Or is Patrick gonna yo? Steal it? Patrick's gonna be a thief. He's been wild and out this season. They've both been assholes. True. I would kill for a net like that. You know, something <laughs> small like a carrot. I'm not spiders. They're icky. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, this is ominous. It's just the sunset. Hi, Patrick. Why is everything? It's all pink. Because it's the sunset. That's how sunsets work, buddy. <laughs> In jellyfish fields. Yes. Or bikini bottom. You know, it, it wasn't until now that I realized SpongeBob's passion for jellyfishing rivals my passion for disc golfing and golfing. Have you accidentally almost ran outside without pants? No, but I've got like discs that like are old, reliable to me. Like, yeah, I I, I don't I don't want to lose them, and if I do lose them, it's a really sad day. Oh, because I have had that happen, and it's not fun. I believe you. Patrick, all reliable. He does like him his uh, his frisbee golf. Yes, it's fun throwing things. Truly How cool would it be if we just had flying jellyfish pet? Ah, uh, probably it, not great. It would, not, not it, a great time. It would juice on everything. <laughs> True. You know what? I take it back. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so do I. But yeah. <laughs> wow, that was quick. Guys, I know it's a slow news day, but come on. <laughs> I'll just have to accept that all reliable is converted. Go look for yourself. That didn't look like old reliable. No, it didn't have the silicone handle. Wow. Dude, what's it? Why? You know, I wish you know, I could do that. They are all bro. about showing his underwear this season. It, that and his feet. I like, just, why, why is? Why did he all of a sudden start sleeping with his shoes off? I just wish I could take my clothes off like that, bro. It's just wah. You just gotta have a onesie, and then technically you can. <laughs> if you had taken my jellyfish nut. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder how much people would pay to see us in our underwear, or how much they would pay us to put more clothes on. I like that idea. We technically did. We have blankets now, and they love it. That's true. Except for you, because you're a hater. I mean, a long sleeve shirt though. That doesn't count. It's not a my blanket. modesty. There, there was a lot of people who liked was. my old ad, like when I would put on a new shirt every time I was on camera. Oh yeah. <laughs> like there were people who who did appreciate that back in the day. If y'all haven't gone to watch our older videos, go effort. go check them out. Because it was, I, it was I, really I hot that when day. It comes, when it comes <laughs> and really cool boom for not using blanket. Yeah, His toxic again. masculinity won't allow him to hold a blankie mid-video. He doesn't know how to have fun. <laughs> I just like the blanket. The last thing I want to be in Women's Month is a Tell me all your secrets. No. Damn, no. he really is just straight up Tell accusing me all him. I'm proud of. I didn't mean to do it. It just sort of happened. He accidentally ate somebody's snack. Oh, I accidentally knocked SpongeBob's toothbrush into the toilet and then I put it back on the counter without washing. That is like a fear of mine. <laughs> <laughs> and this is why sinks and toilets should be in separate areas. True. Not until I uh, my new place actually has has them separated did I realize how good the, that is. The beauty yes. of it. The only downfall is they always make it like tiny. The bathroom, yes. Like, give me it's, a little more little, room. This is all you get, this space. Enough to walk in, turn around, and plop. All reliable. Mm. Ah. Hmm. 
You know, you gotta be more trusting. Nothing in my other hand. How did he? <laughs> That's impressive. Yo, if your chest goes from six to midnight, you might want to go to the hospital. Patrick wouldn't steal a reliable, would he? I don't feel like this is like a master plan from Squidward now. To just turn them against each other. No, nah, it's 100% going to be that Spongebob, like, forgot like. to hang it up. And it's like on its table in his house or something. You're really up to sneaky McSneaky Like one SpongeBob in the hands, we're two in the bush. Eight hours later. Damn. No, he's, no, he's not. He's just. Yeah, dude. He's just been sitting there. He's just zen. Oh, he has a garage. Yo, he got a garage. Yeah, he's in a garage <laughs> in a few episodes. Okay, bye. But then other episodes, it's not there. Yeah. So I don't understand. <laughs> Word <laughs> <laughs> on the street is that you know where to get quality jelly fishing supplies. What street said that? Was it this one? Mind your own business. <laughs> Dude, Patrick would 100% accidentally start a gang war. Who you are, but you're not getting this jelly fishing net. I wouldn't sell it for a million dollars, not for a hundred dollars. I wouldn't even sell it for a dollar. What about two dollars? This means more to me than money. It's my friend Spongebob. Ah! Spongebob! Wait, where'd the box go? You were my best friend, you no good jellyfishing net thief! Was it a net he got him as a gift? Gift. <laughs> what? It's my friend Spongebob's gift. <gasps> oh. He made it. He made it. Spongebob, you're a piece of- He made- so he was testing it that night? Oh, he's... I'm not your best friend. I'm a no-good jelly netting the fish. Yeah, I mean, I'd be kind of pissed, too. Damn! I still have my dignity. <laughs> Hell yeah. You get out of here with that dumper, brother. Damn it. Wow. It's because they moved it. Uh-huh. It was more yep. to the left before. Sure. <laughs> It's the only explanation why me yep, and Boom keep missing. That's the only explanation. Look, you left your net on the bus again. Oh, what I say? It wasn't on a table, but damn close. Every week. Now can we get going? I wouldn't forgive him. Nah, friendship over. I accept your apology. They do this all. He said, "Get on the." Boss! This happens every week! Nobody ever believes me. I do like that we do get to see, like, some of the townspeople just being like... Oh, I'm so sick of it. The laugh, if that Patrick net breaks, like, immediately. I know it's me being fat, but that makes me just want a bowl of Fruit Loops. <laughs> <laughs> Why is he? <laughs> what? What? Uh, SpongeBob, that. Hi, Squidward. Wanna play? No. I'm I'll play into Garden one day. I tried doing the Garden one year. That is horrifying. It was awesome. I had all this, all these small little plants, and then my and then dumb ass, died. huh? I put it outside for one day, one day, because it was like 80 degrees. I was like, dude, it's perfect right now. Put it out. Came out the next morning. They're all dead. Yep. Well, and I was like. What do you mean? And then I found out about Morning Frost. It's not going to get any better out here. No. Horrible gardening environment here. I, I, I had can... my first scorpion in my house. How was that is, experience? This is what you get from moving out to the middle of nowhere. You didn't, didn't have to battle it, though, right? Oh, no. I saw it. I was like, bro, that looks like a scorpion. And I got, got real close. And it, like it, it was still kind of like up. Like its, its legs were still kind of like propped like it was alive. And like I literally had a a box that has like a, a nightstand I haven't built yet. <laughs> where, where, where? So if he was alive, he wasn't anymore. You gotta make sure you check your shoes. Yeah. Every day. I, oh, I did. Like Wait, especially and now. That's really a thing. Like you. Have, I mean, apparently oh, where he, he is. Yeah, you not, always not need to us. check your shoes. Always so check is it is shoes. it not a good idea I've that we never leave our checked. shoes up here? Well, no, they're up here. It's safe up here. Okay, I mean, I'm sorry. wearing mine, big dog. So it's like, like if they if get you, in while I'm like wearing them, then I, you know, I can't do anything. Shoes by the door. I mean, I don't think we have shoes. scorpion issues here. Boom scorpion. again, just moved out into the middle of nowhere. Them, it's still technically Austin, but it's woodsy. He's it's more had woodsy scorpions there. on him. 
Yeah, but that again was in. Inven- what? 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 Wait, wait. No, we'll, we'll we'll save this for podcast. I, I just <laughs> we'll get into the scorpions. I, I was not aware that. scorpions were such a like a, a yeah. common thing down yes. here. No, no, it's not. It's and it's not. dangerous. It's Those not. are dangerous it's little not. bastards. But yes, I found one climbing on me. It was right about here when I realized. What's not what you think. Control? It was Mortal Kombat. He said, "Get over here." <laughs> yes. So the like pest control billboards are like predominantly scorpions. scorpions. I need sure, to, I need do I need to hire guys. a pest guy no, then? No, no, like, no. Keep, no. Don't worry, we'll talk. Keep we'll scorpions talk. away from it, me or something? Uh, like, I, hear, I hear they eat cats. To make you feel better, to make you feel better real me. quick, okay? And then we'll, it will click play. <laughs> I've lived here since 2016, okay? It has been like eight years at this point. I have only ever interacted with two scorpions ever <laughs> in eight years. But One was because my roommate left the, the window open and our apartment complex at the time our window was right next to the woods. It was just all woods. Okay. Um, and then the other time was we went to visit her family who was staying in between here in San Antonio, closer to San Antonio, which is way further. And again, it was out in the woods. So unless you, we are, unless you're woods. near the woods, it wasn't the woods, no, but the back of where we were staying, there was the woods. All the deer were there. The if there's woods close by to your doors and windows, then yes, be wary of scorpions. But if you woods. do not, if you're not in a woods I, area. I live nowhere near woods. Trees. <laughs> Don't lie. Shaded areas. Uh, so. Two and eight years. That's not that me. bad. I mean, coming from North Carolina, it was bears, mountain lions, and stuff anyway. So it's <laughs> I had. Oh, God. No. <laughs> no. Okay, I think that just makes him a pervert. Yeah. Hello. How about a game of hangman? How about a game of hang up? Who just has a phone just next to their bath? Uh, naked. How about Duck Duck Hermit Crab? Hot Scotch? Naked. Yeah, he's just like buck ass naked. Like, <laughs> there's nothing. Dude, that rage Squidward face, though. So that's what they meant by Squidward. Damn. Oh. Oh. Well, that's. Oh, great, Magic Conch. Will Eric be attacked by a scorpion one day? I think not. Oh, all right. Let's go, Conch! Oh, great, Magic Conch. Will Sean oh. be attacked by a scorpion someday? You should go for it. I don't know what that means. I don't either. She's being ominous. Wait, no, we'll, we'll, we'll save this for podcast. <laughs> I, I just. <laughs> Oh! So worried about scorpions now, bro. Like. No, she just cleared you. You're good. Magic Conch never lies. Pretty sure I just brought it in on, on the bottom of my shoe after stepping on it. <laughs> I walk other places. Bro. What the? God, I hate that. That <laughs> is... Oh, this is a creepy episode. Hello, Squidward. What manner of annoying scheme is this? Just say hello to him, Squidward. You know yeah, why do you gotta be such a hater? Squidward, he prefers to be addressed by his full name. <laughs> SpongeBob made a replacement, you, me, so that when you, you don't want to play, SpongeBob. He's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now who's the dummy? Wow. Yo. That is some skill. <laughs> that was uh, awesome. I am just impressed. Squidward, you look God, this would be a dream. Like you would never have to worry about them ever again. Oh, I know. You shaved your beard. Beard? What? <laughs> Are you ready for another fabulous day of work at the Krusty Krab? Of course I am. Wow, that guy in the back is going through some sh- fellow with SpongeBob. <laughs> but isn't he handsome? Yeah. He oh is my handsome. god, dude. Sorry, sir. Can I take your order? No. I don't like your attitude, Bob. Fine, then off. Sorry, sir. Can I take your order? No, that's more like it. Finally, a server with a <laughs> What? I'll take eight dozen of your finest patties. Please. Eight dozen? I'm starting to like this mini Squidward. Doing my work, keeping SpongeBob. Yeah, but he's a better Squidward than you. I know, it's kind of messed up. Mini Squid? Okay, SpongeBob. Always happy to help. <laughs> <laughs> Is he going to do the same joke? Okay, now who had the 
the Krabby Patty, and who had the Krabby Patty? <laughs> he took his joke. Bro, that's f***ed uh... up. So much better than that old, lousy, larger scale. <laughs> yeah. Larger Damn. scale? Aaron, let me give him a $300 tip. What? Wow. All right, all right. That's enough. He's like, all I have to do is not suck? The customers prefer the new smaller Squidward to you. <sighs> and so do I, because he's making me some bucks. I'm changing your job to bus boy, effective immediately. Oh, holy oh, me. Who wants mini Squidward to dance for our amusement? Oh no. Yeah, I'll pass. <laughs> what? No, he did not. <laughs> Bro, this is ridiculous. Whoa. Damn! Oh, damn! <laughs> Don't be on everybody! Those are all my moves! <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, but it looks weird when you do it. I don't know about the goose step there, bud. Talk about no oh my God. Holy crap! Dude, he's gonna murder Mini Squid. I think he's gonna take Mini Squid to be a be his little friend. You think? Yeah. He's gonna kidnap him. Give him someone to talk to. Big Squid, Mini Squid. Oh no. Uh oh. Yeah, this one's good at the clarinet. Wow. What? <clears throat> I mean, I guess they are underwater. Granny's got moves. That was awful. I'm sorry, you can't just be a hater, man. Nah, the only taste he has is in his mouth. He stole my standing ovation! You were never gonna get a standing ovation, bro. Let's, let's, let's be honest. Oh! I was ready, he's gonna try and kill him. <laughs> he's just still dragging him around. <laughs> Don't gnaw on the head of my new client, please! You don't know what your conditions. I'm Milo J. Fingerfish, talent manager for Curly Bubbles Records. <laughs> you mean you're here to sign me for a record No. Deal? You didn't, what? It's a big N-O. This little fella, on the other hand, is woo-hoo-woo-hoo good. We're offering him a million dollar contract oh, and a oh. sequin suit. A sequin suit? A sequin suit? <laughs> now, where do I sign? No talent. Yeah, yeah right, kid. <laughs> Yo. Oh, they're just taking the puppet? And we'll see you at the Clammy Awards. Oh, no. I guess I won't. <laughs> Damn. Oh! What a joke. This man just basically stole the puppet for free. <laughs> like, he didn't give that contract to SpongeBob. At least I won't have to see that mini square <laughs> again. Yeah, He's sure gonna be on TV not. everywhere, brother. <laughs> oh, God. That's horrifying. No, no. No, he's not. He's just gonna. You know what? That's Squidward insane. deserves this. Does I, he though? I go back and forth, man. Like there's a, there's times where I hate Squidward and times where I'm like, yo, he kind of has a point. He's a very understandable character though. Yeah. That was cool. Most of the time. Do you want uncut and early reactions to your favorite series that we do here on the channel? What about double episodes? We have all of that available and more for billies on Patreon and members on YouTube. Your support means the world to us and it allows us to keep doing what we love and keep delivering you the content that you love or will eventually love because Billy is love. Billy is live. Everything's gonna be fine, Billy. Everything's gonna be fine, Billy. Everything is gonna be fine, Billy. Everything is going to be fine, Billy. Thank you for your patronage. Oh, this episode's iconic. Is it? Yeah. I don't even know what it's called. Best day ever. Best day ever. Best day ever. Best day ever. <laughs> I was not ready for this. That's actually kind of a bop. I know, right? It's the best day ever. Um. um uh, what the hell happened to that? Condemned? Okay, this is like five episodes in a row where it's like got him down to his draws. Yeah, they think <laughs> it's funny. LOL underwear. What? Oh, is he like the Pied Piper of nematodes? <laughs> <laughs> Take that deadly 
Yes, and to the sea away from me restaurant. <laughs> oh no, they just got to miss. They're oh, gonna follow they him, aren't they? Yup, they're all gonna no. <laughs> what? Dude, it's like the sticky hand thingy. Oh no. Oh, it's leaking. Yeah, how's, how's that gonna happen in the next episode? He doesn't, doesn't even bring over reliable. I'm not sure if I trust the continuity of SpongeBob anymore. <laughs> nah, I'd be like, nah, I'd be pissed. I'd be like, go get your own net at this point. I mean, that's like you bought, you buy yourself like a new elite controller <laughs> and like you invite some friends over to play games and then just like pick that one up instead of the normal one. You're like, yo, that's my like. Yeah. Your ass is, you, you gotta use the Mad Cat's controller. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love how everybody unanimously had that same experience growing up. Except for maybe Bree. Did you ever have to deal with the Mad Cat's controllers? Do you think I ever had to deal with <laughs> the Mad Cat's controller? I don't even know what the, the Mad Cat's controller is. Wow, so what a privileged life. Back during the PS2 era. I didn't even and the start Game playing Cube video era. games until I was 17 years right, old. Well, the point is, is that you'd have, you'd have the authentic controllers, and then Mad Cat's was a company that made Knock really... Off. Knock off they had like two or three years where they actually made good products and then, and it, then it was off. just garbage. Because I, they cornered the market and then they were like, drop the quality! I can't remember, was it a Mad Cat's brand? Like there was a controller I remember having, it was like for Xbox. And it had like fans built into like the, yeah. the, 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 the heels. Yeah. Bro, that was the best controller I've ever had. Interesting. Because it was like, wild. dude, it, it like, I forgot about cause that. Because you know how when you play a game, like your hand, your palms get sweaty, right? Yeah. And it's like, like it depends on like how crazy, like if you're playing a fighting game or something where you're kind of like moving. Like, yeah. like smash or something, your hand, your palms will get sweaty. Your palms get well, sweaty when you sweat. Neighbors. Unlike the the wings of the controller, they had like built-in in like fans with like slots for holes, <laughs> and like it would just you could literally just press on the controller and it would it would up the fan mm. speed. So like you could be sitting here playing and your controller would be cool, keeping you cool the entire oh, yeah. time. Mm. Best controller I've ever had. Anyway, the the way it worked is like you know consoles came they come with one controller. Yeah. Right. And so no one's parents could afford to get like yeah. a brand name. So you'd always be controller. the second controller. So like it would be Mad like Cats it'd one. be like the fifteen dollar like Walmart Mad Cats garbage. You ever have the one where it's the like designed would be for, like, for children? Yeah, like it's like this small yeah. and it's like fine. Like the triggers would literally be like sharp for some reason. <laughs> like it, it would hurt to use the controller. There were some wild Mad Cats controllers. Squidward's nope, concert. that's gonna get just, yeah, just go home, buddy. Physical challenge. How is that the best day ever? Because to him it is. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, I just wanted to smack you one more time. Where do you think you're going, kid? No way. I love that his tooth is back. <laughs> Brother, what? <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Yeah. Eventually, right? He's he, he's young. He's he. he Man's good all day. Is he? How is old? he? How old is he? I don't know. Nah, I, I need to know. Five. Five? five? <laughs> Sounds about right. Five. I think five. Mr. Krabs child what labor is, is stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I, he definitely <laughs> would. He definitely <laughs> would. Oh, Patrick. God, please no. Oh, God. Happy best friend. What the? This chewing gum is my most beloved possession. And I'm to my bestest friend on Best Friends Day. Bro, that, that's like those no, walls in like cities that are like people put their gum in. Seattle. Yeah, oh, that was so gross. You got me such an amazing gift. Oh. So, apparently, SpongeBob's birth date was revealed to be July 14th, oh, yeah, I 1986. Somebody, somebody said that. But this would mean he was 13 when the series premiered, causing some inconsistencies. Oh, 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 did did the story about a, a sponge that talks create some inconsistencies? <laughs> Apparently. That's weird. Yeah. What about a squirrel that lives underwater? Under the sea, nonetheless. Under True. all that pressure. Yeah. Or a crab with a whale for an honor. Yeah. That one I'm mom. still trying to figure out. <laughs> I mean, obviously, her mom was a whale, bro. But why doesn't she She's have dead. characteristics There is a both. stingray in an aquarium right now that got impregnated by a shark. There you go. What? So I can't wait to find out about that. Wait, <laughs> wait. So the so wait, wait. So so we're gonna so, have a potential no, no, no. shark ray. Yeah. So the, so in this aquarium, there is one stingray, and it is female, and it is the only stingray in the aquarium. 
So how did it get pregnant? Yeah. Yep. And the only males in the tank are two sharks. Yep. So, Something happened. So either stingrays have learned to reproduce without anything, yeah. or that shark... Stingray Jesus or shark ray? shark ray? It's a huge deal. All over the I'm so, so excited. That actually is wild. I'm so excited. How long, how long are stingrays pregnant for? Um... I don't, I don't know. know. I've left everyone Wait, out. So, so a shark's going to be even more dangerous now because it's going to have the stinger tail plus the jawline. Or is a stingray going to be more dangerous because now it's got shark DNA? Because stingrays don't have teeth, right? Like their their mouths are on the bottom of where they're. I mean, they still eat. Like, they evolved. They got a taste. But bro. like, because sharks regenerate teeth, they right? Steve so Irwin like, and yeah, they were like, we're gonna we're gonna take over the world. So when a stingray stings you, does is it like a bee? Does it die? No. no. Does this, the no. poker grow back? It doesn't. It doesn't go away. I thought I thought it, it I thought like it be. pierces and no, then it, it's it, like a porcupine. It injects venom. So we're gonna have a venom. It's like a whip, I think, as well. Yeah. A venom shark is 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 what. What's Imagine a out. shark with a stingray tail. That's great. Yeah. What what an, let's let's make apex predators <laughs> even more apex. Yeah. Great. It's we like, do that. They're cloning woolly mammoths. <laughs> Yo, we're going into a I'm wild time. I'm excited for that too. We're going into a wild. Give me time. Jurassic Park. <laughs> you know what I say you, though? I say give me Jurassic Park. But no, like, like, let's just introduce dinosaurs into the wild. No, that's what they're doing with like, the holy man. No, that's what I'm saying. No, like, let's just put them places. That way, like, you're just like driving down the interstate and it's you like, see a T Rex. Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> there's a nine car pile up today when a velociraptor ran across. Like, you know, it's, I mean, look, we are in America. Let's just replicate Power World. Yeah, like, I, let's do it. We're very excited about Shark Ray. Yeah, Shark Ray. <laughs> yeah. You don't mind if I say goodbye to Gummy, do you? No, not at all. Thanks. Wow. Oh, God. Goodbye, hey. Gummy. That is wild. I hate it so much. Yeah! <laughs> I love you too, Gummy. This is just gonna be a gross episode. Yeah. Uh, I feel like the best day ever should have been the way to conclude the season, personally. Oh, is this the very final one? This is the very final one. Uh, Gummy. Is the, uh, no, I'd leave it outside. Oh, God. Um, no, that I would not right. touch that. Oh, oh what? Oh, How heavy is this? Boy, aren't you? Ooh. Hey, I know how to handle this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, SpongeBob, don't bring it inside. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually cool. Oh, the, sl the spit trails. Let's go drop it off at Squidward's house. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he's been consumed. What? Where did you come from? Uh, up there? <gasps> oh, thank Yo, the glissy. Hey, oh God. I'm free! I'm free! <laughs> How long have they been living in that? Dude, that is wild. It's just the worst. All the hair, dude. It's uh -huh. literally just the worst. Oh no. I don't know if he's making it out of it this time. I want to be trapped in there. What tarnation? It exploded. Oh my gosh, SpongeBob! Oh. Hi, Sandy. Looks like I got myself into a pretty sticky situation. Mm. Quite the gum shot. Stuck there, SpongeBob. You got this, brother. Don't you talk oh, that house is coming with it. Who's your toad? Who's your toad? No. Oh, damn. Oh, no. <laughs> Fate of right, his yeah. neighbor. Now, Patrick, I can explain. You shouldn't have to explain it's, anything. That's amazing! Yeah, please take it back. Patrick, I have something to tell you. Would you care Hate for a massage, thing. master? Go for it. Sheesh. He doesn't like him either. Yeah. Just come right out and will you stop? Just stop! <laughs> Patrick, do you miss your gummy? <laughs> the shrug. Oh, lovely. Yep. Wow! This is the best best friends day. I hate best friends. Day. Same. How did best day ever fo be followed up by best friends day? 
That is wild. I feel like they should have flipped it. Well, we had SpongeBob literally accuse Patrick like an episode ago. There's no continuity. This where, is gumball, bro. Yeah, I mean, like he literally no accused con- him. And, Old like, Reliable they literally was not there the next episode. And then the next episode's Best Friends Day. Like it is wild how it just kind of no continuity, man. There's no continuity at all. <laughs> Thanks for watching, Billy. See you next time. Bye, Billy. Be the joy. <laughs> Season five coming at you.